Hello and welcome to our webinar, The Science of Reading, Phonics and Decodable Books. I'm Julia Smith, Senior Editor, Books for Youth at Booklist. Before we begin, I'd like to go over some technical details. Today's slide presentation and title list were included in the reminder email you received from Zoom one hour ago. To download them, please open that email, scroll to the bottom, and click on the links located there. You can also download them by typing the URLs on this screen into your web browser. If you have any trouble, please contact us at webinars at booklistonline.com. The audience is in listen-only mode, but we welcome any questions you may have. On the bottom of your screen is a toolbar with a section for Q&A. If you have a question or need technical assistance, simply click Q&A and type your message into the box that appears. We will do our best to respond to all tech-related questions, and we'll pass along all other questions to today's panelists so they can follow up with you after the webinar. Booklist offers closed captioning on all webinars. To enable or disable captions on your screen, please look for and click the live transcript icon on the toolbar mentioned earlier. From there, you can select show or hide subtitles from the menu that appears. If you choose to enable subtitles, you can adjust the size of the captions at any time by selecting caption settings. And finally, Booklist expects all participants to maintain an atmosphere of respect and fairness. Anyone who violates this standard of behavior, including engaging in any form of harassment, may, at the discretion of the organizers, be immediately removed. Today, we have the pleasure of hearing from Jocelyn Edwards, Marketing Manager at Norwood House Press, an imprint of Rosen Publishing, Laura Bowman, Educational Sales Specialist at Orca Book Publishers, and Catherine Camisa, Marketing Director at The Child's World. First, we'll hear from Jocelyn Edwards. Jocelyn is the Marketing Manager for Norwood House Press, now an imprint of Rosen Publishing Group, but also she ran sales for the content and development for them as well. She started her publishing career 13 years ago at Pe Penguin Random House, and while she has enjoyed working in all aspects of publishing, children's books have always had a special place in her heart. She graduated from Rutgers University with a degree in journalism. Thanks for being here, Jocelyn. Uh, thank you so much, Julia, and uh, thank you to everybody for coming today. Um, I'm Jocelyn Edwards, like she said, um, and I'm very excited to present our new series, The Decodables, to all of you. Um, so our Decodable series features 52 titles broken into six unique sets and incorporates the research and findings of the science of reading. Um, additionally, the titles are broken down into six sets that are specific to grade levels and spelling patterns, which enhance language comprehension and word recognition. Um, corresponding teacher's guides are available for each title to help reinforce decodable text concepts and patterns, both in the classroom and at home. These uh, titles include a combination of illustrations, photos, or both, um, and are available in fiction and nonfiction. Um, sets are broken down as follows. Um, our Search for Sound set features our first wordless books and provides an introduction to letter sounds for kindergartners. The Friends and Family set focuses on consonant vowel consonant patterns and is written for grades kindergarten through first. The Things We Like to Do set has a consonant blends focus and is written for first grade. The Activities with Friends set focuses on vowel consonant E patterns for first grade. The Discover Plants and Animals set consists of vowel patterns for second grade, and the Fables and Folktales set focuses on advanced vowel patterns for second grade. Um, all of the titles feature sequenced texts that are at least 80% decodable and are available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook book formats now. Um, so this is a look at one of our full covers. Um, the back cover will feature the series, subnames, uh, series, subseries names, excuse me, and the descriptions. Um, all front covers will show the specific phonics focus and the book number for easy reference. 
Um, and additionally, the back cover will provide a breakdown of titles within the series, the order in which the books should be read, and the focuses, uh, the phonics focuses that will be taught in each title. Um, we know that for decodable titles in particular, it's important to read each book in a specific order to help build spelling patterns and word recognition. So we wanted to make it easy for educators and caregivers to have a reference. Um, and then a QR code and URL provides a link to the teacher's guides for each book and a listing of all the books in the decodable series by series, number, and focus. Um, the scope and sequence created for the decodables follows a widely agreed upon scope and sequence that al aligns with many explicit phonics programs, for example, foundations and um, the core knowledge language arts. Um, after introducing consonant and vowel sounds, the decodables moves gradually and sequentially through consonant, vowel, consonant words, consonant, vowel, consonants with digraphs, um, words with blends and simple inflectional suffixes, um, vowel, consonant, E words, uh, vowel teams, and R controlled vowels, diphthongs, complicated vowel teams, and multisyllabic words. Um, the series moves from simple to more complex. All right. All right. And then um, as, a cumulative, as a cumulative series, each text provides the opportunity to read words containing the focus pattern while allowing ongoing repeated practice of spelling patterns that have previously been taught. Readers are able to rely on their decoding skills as they encounter very few not yet decodable words. Um, so here's um, some of the interior layouts. They feature simple text along with illustrations or photos. Um, and our literacy consultant on these books is an amazing woman named Emily Nuds. She's a literacy coach and is certified to provide ongoing professional development in the science of reading. She holds a master's degree in literacy and is certified in childhood education, special education, and literacy education, and has taught first through fourth grades. She specializes in reading and writing instruction in the primary grades and identification and intervention of struggling readers. Emily has authored the scope and sequence of this series and the accompanying teacher's guides. She's also written a letter to caregivers like this one, um, which is featured in the front of each book. Um, and then here's a peek at the teacher's guides that Emily created. Um, she's included learning activities for each title using materials that you can easily find at home or in the classroom. Um, so now we're going to jump into uh, what you can find in each set of our decodable books. Um, set one is our search for sounds book set, which features of our first wordless books and provides an introduction to letter sounds for kindergartners. In this set of lessons and text, students will be introduced to all consonants and vowels that make up our alphabet. They will engage with the text by listening to the story read aloud, listening for words with target sounds in them, and identifying the picture of the word that makes the target sound. Educators or caregivers will support students in identifying the letter that makes the target sound. After reading activities are provided to build vocabulary knowledge, work on comprehension skills, and build their early reader response skills. Um, this set has eight books um, at 16 pages and feature nonfiction concepts with illustrated pictures. Um, in the back of each Search for Sounds book, we've included story guides for educators and caregivers to reference as they work their way through the pages, searching for words with the focus sounds. Um, the story guides are also included in the teacher's guides. Um, and here you can see how the story guides work together with the text. Um, educators and caregivers are asked to read each keyword um, and ask students to isolate the beginning sound before finding the corresponding picture in the illustration. They're also encouraged to find and point to the corresponding letter in the corner of the page. The goal of these wordless books is to support phonemic awareness and letter identification. Um, so here's all of the books in the Search for Sounds set and a look at the scope and sequence. Set two is our Friends and Family Fun set, and these books are written for grades kindergarten through first. In this set of lessons and decodable text, students will be introduced to all five short vowel sounds. They'll begin reading consonant, vowel, consonant words, and as they continue to read through the series, they move towards reading consonant, vowel, consonant words containing consonant digraphs and the suffix s. Following an explicit phonics lesson plan, students will engage their phonological processor through a phonemic awareness warm up. From there, they will practice decoding and encoding at the word level before moving to the sentence and story level. Um, this set has 12 books. Um, they're all 16 pages and they're features uh, fiction titles with illustrated pictures. 
Um, here's a look at the word list, which includes focus sounds, high frequency words, and challenging words. Um, and then with each set, the word list grows. Um, I've also added some of the interiors here. We've included the simple, easy to read text um, paired with illustrations that closely match the targeted phonics patterns. Um, and here's a look at all the books in the Friends and Family Fun set and a look at the scope and sequence. Um, set three is the things we like to do set. These books are written for first grade. Uh, and in this set of lessons in decodable text, students will be introduced to consonant blends as well as suffixes ing and ed. They will read words containing two and three letter blends found at both the beginning and ending of words. Students will continue to build their phonemic awareness skills through segmenting, blending, and manipulating phonemes. They will decode and encode individual words before reading and spelling in sentences and stories. Um, this set it has eight books. Um, they're all 16 pages and they're fiction stories with a mix of illustrations and photos. Um, and then again, you can see this, the word list from this set and some of the interiors. Um, and here is a look at all the books and the things we like to do set and a look at the scope and sequence. Um, set four is the activities with friends set. Um, these books are written for first grade. In this set of lessons in decodable text, students will be introduced to long vowel sounds spelled using a vowel consonant E spelling pattern. They will increase their phonemic awareness skills, focusing mostly on the advanced phonemic awareness skill phoneme manipulation. Students will strengthen their reading and spelling skills at the word, sentence, and story level and will build automaticity and fluency. This set has six books. They're all 16 pages and they feature fiction stories with illustrated pictures. Um, here's a look at this word list, uh, a word list from this set and some interiors as well. Um, and then here's a look at all of the books and the activities with friends set and um, the scope and sequence. Um, so set five is our Discover Plants and Animals set. These books are written for second grade. Um, and in this set of lessons in decodable text, students will um, be introduced to the many vowel teams of the English language, as well as the suffix Y. Students will strengthen their advanced phonemic awareness skills through phoneme manipulation tasks, but will remove all scaffolds. They'll continue to strengthen their reading and spelling skills in multisyllabic words containing vowel teams, suffix Y, and all previously taught phonics skills. This set has nine books, um, and we've upped the page count to 24. And these are all nonfiction with photos. Um, so the exciting thing about this set is that it can also be used outside of a phonics or reading lesson as science text. They're, um, they all feature a table of contents, a glossary, an index, and fun facts. Um, so here's a look at the table of contents, the glossary index, and the word list included in every book in this set. Um, I've also included some interiors showing the full color photos, fun facts, and bolded words that can be found in the glossary. Um, and again, while these books are informative science texts, they are still very much they still very much follow the scope and sequence based on the science of reading. Um, and then here's a look at all of the books in the Discover Plants and Animals set and a look at the scope and sequence. Um, and then finally, um, set six of our of our decodables is um, the Fables and Folktales set. These books are written for second grade. Uh, in this set of lessons in decodable text, students will learn about R controlled vowels, diphthongs, and complicated vowel teams. They will continue to strengthen their phonemic awareness skills through blending, segmenting, and manipulating phonemes within words without the use of scaffolds. They will apply their increased phonic knowledge as they decode and encode multisyllabic words, sentences, and stories containing R controlled vowels, diphthongs, complicated vowel teams, and all previously taught skills. This set has nine books. These are all 24 pages and they're fiction with illustrated pictures. Um, these books can also be used outside of a phonics lesson plan for just fun reading since they're all retellings of classic fables and folktales. Um, and they all include a glossary as well. Uh, like I mentioned, each book features a glossary and a word list. Um, and here's a look at some of the interiors. Um, and then here are all of the books in the Fables and Folktales set and a look at the scope and sequence. Um, if you want to learn more about our decodable series, please head over to our website, um, norwoodhousepress.com slash decodables. Um, you can also download all of our free teacher's guides, um, a scope and sequence document, 
uh, for the entire series um, and watch a video about the series starring our literacy consultant, Emily Nutz. Um, so thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Jocelyn. Next, we will be hearing from Laura Bowman. And one second, my computer froze, of course, as I was pulling up my intro. Here we go. Uh, um, we have Laura, who is the Educational Sales Specialist at Orca Books Publishers and lives in Toronto, Ontario. She has over five years experience in sales and marketing for children's publishing. She has delivered a number of presentations to educators and librarians and has helped promote the work of dozens of Canadian authors and illustrators. Her interests outside of books and education include sustainability, baking, and embroidery. Take it away, Laura. Thank you, Julia. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Laura, and I am joining you today from Toronto, what is currently known as Toronto, the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, the Wendat, the Chippewa, and the Mississaugas of the New Credit. Today, I express gratitude as a settler for the opportunity to live, work, and create on this land. Uh, and today I am going to introduce you to Orca's decodable series of books, as well as our middle grade and high school high-low program quickly as well. So first up for primary students, we have the Megan Gregg series. Megan Gregg is a decodable phonics-based series of four books with four more slated to be published that is high-low for students in grades one through three who are still learning the basics of reading. I have also had teachers of junior and intermediate students order these titles to work with ELL students. The series was developed by Elspeth Ray, an educator in British Columbia, who specializes in teaching reading to students with reading difficulties, in particular for children with dyslexia. So how are the Megan Gregg decodable? The, uh, the Megan Gregg books, sorry. These are simple books that are written for beginning readers with controlled text to only contain the specific letters and sounds uh, your student has learned so far. They help new readers gain confidence because they are only being presented with letters and sounds that they have already learned or are learning. And importantly, these books are for students to practice reading. They are not meant for adults to read to the children. Um, the books provide readers with the opportunity to practice the sounding out and blending of sounds together to make real words, as opposed to looking at the pictures and taking a guess. These are published in an ultra readable format, which I'll expand on in a couple slides. And the books don't look like readers for little kids. They look like graphic novels or oversized chapter books, making them more accessible to an older audience. Each book has four short stories within it, with each story focusing on a different phonogram, and the books are uh, cumulative in nature. The prior knowledge that's needed to start the series is basic consonant sounds, blends, and short vowels. But then in book one, Megan Gregg, A Duck in a Sock, we focus on the CK, SH, CH, and TH uh, phonograms. And as you can see uh, from the uh, image here on the screen, every book is building off of that initial lesson and moving into another set of phonogram lessons as well. So Megan Gregg, Frank and the Skunk, book two, will introduce NK, NG, TCH, and DGE uh, phonograms. I keep I have to really enunciate with DGE for some reason. Uh, Megan Gregg, The Bake Sale, moves on to our AE, EE, IE, OE, and UE uh, phonograms with Megan Gregg, Scarlet, uh, and The Ring, the fourth book, focusing on the O-R, A-R, E-R sounds and the air sounds. And on the inside cover of all of these books, there is a spread explaining what is included, much like Jocelyn was referring to. Um, writing a 100% decodable book is practically impossible when you think of the inclusion of words like the or have, even in simple sentences. So you will almost always find a tricky word section on the inside cover of any decodable book, or at least that's what we uh, have taken to calling it in the Megan Gregg series. Um, and this section on the inside gives parents and teachers more information about what's being presented in the book and ways to help the new reader along. Book five, Megan Gregg, A Handful of Dogs, will be coming in August 2024. This book is going to focus, uh, sorry, is going to focus on the suffixes uh, S, I, N, G, and E, D, as well as the prefix E, X. Books six, seven, and eight 
are all on the publish publishing schedule as well uh, with the upcoming lessons of long vowels, diphthongs, and silent letters all upcoming. And this is an inside look at the start of Megan Gregg book one. On the left with um, number one, you can see the adult or buddy reader text. This helps the stories move at a quicker pace and keep the young readers engaged in what is otherwise a very simple text. Um, we are thinking a slightly older audience than the uh, junior kindergartens who would be coming in and learning this from the get-go. But I did mention earlier that decodable books are meant for the children to be reading and not for the adults to read to them. But in this case, um, the adult would leave the right-hand page to the striving reader. The participation of the adult is part of the strategy with these books, allowing for a modeling of a love of reading, reinforcing pronunciation, and helping to keep the story engaging while still providing the striving reader their opportunities to learn. So as you can see on the right-hand page with number two, the kid's text is controlled to eliminate spelling exceptions and advanced words, and the comic strip style also allows the kid's text to include some dialogue. There are also labels in the illustrations throughout, which kind of allows for a third tier of readers, the earliest of readers to also participate by just observing like one quick word. And then um, number four as well, the words with the target phonogram appear in bold type throughout the book in both the labels, the text, and even in the chapter title, as you can see. Um, and number five points to the ultra readable format applications in these books. So for example, there's shaded paper to reduce contrast. Extra space has been added between letters, words, and lines of text to help improve readability. The font that's used looks the same as letters kids are learning to print. So in other words, there's no double decker letter A with uh, the little awning overhead, as I like to call it. And the font also has long stems on stick letters like B, D, and P. We've had many literacy teams and reading recovery teachers buying sets of these books to use in their schools. It has taken some time to get the word out, but these are exactly what teachers need right now with the return uh, to the focus on the science of reading. And now moving on to the older books, um, what are Orca's high-low books? All of Orca's high-low are fiction that can be used for novel studies and learning elements of story, as well as reading for pleasure and building reading fluency. Um, Orca's high-low are written by prolific and often award-winning authors. This is one of the things I really love about our high-low is that they aren't written by ghost writers or like an in-house uh, editorial team. These are authors that the high-low readers will be able to fall in love with just as their peers have because some of these authors are also writing at level um, books for middle grade and YA readers uh, like Eric Walters, for example. And Arca's high-low books look like age appropriate and at level novels. Students don't feel like they are reading uh, a book for a little kid. So all of our high-low books have short chapters, are relatable realistic fiction, use simplified sentence structure, have fast paced plots and are leveled. Uh, many of our high-low books are accompanied by a free downloadable teacher's guide, and the growing database of these guides is available on our website at orcabook.com backslash free dash teacher dash guides. <clears throat> so who are the high-low books for? Uh, students reading below grade level, number one. Number two, students with yeah. dyslexia or any other reading challenge, as well as English language learners and newcomers but also students who do better with shorter novels, with, with lots of action or less description, and even students who say reading is boring. Uh, last year, a colleague of mine worked with a high school in Nunavut to hand select high-low titles for their class novel studies and their library. After they had received their books, we heard from the principal that one of those students finished reading their first book ever. Um, for their school community, these books were life-changing. When young people are engaged in reading and attain a higher literacy level, it correlates to success outside of school, which can lead to a better quality of life. So all of our high-low are published in the ultra-readable format. This includes an ultra-readable, highly accessible, dyslexia-friendly font, larger trim size, increased spacing between words and lines, and cream-colored paper to minimize contrast. You can see on the screen the comparison of the old style, pardon me, bright, tight, and dense on the left with the new, with the new style, 
softer with more white space or breathing room on, uh, on the right. And while we know that dyslexia is not necessarily a print issue, this more readable format supports readers with information processing challenges, as well as striving readers who might be intimidated by too much text. And now I'm going to introduce you quickly to our different high-low collections, starting with Orca Currents. These are short, high-interest novels with contemporary themes written specifically for middle grade students in grades four through eight who are reading below grade level. These books are all leveled between grade 2.0 grade and 5.0, and there are 130 Orca titles currently available. These stories are clean, meaning they don't have mature language or content, but the plots are still very exciting and sometimes the characters are in real danger. They cover a wide range of themes with from kids with supernatural powers, fantasy, school drama, friendship, sports, mystery, sci-fi, you name it. Um, for example, on the screen here, we've got Cosplay Crime. This is about a couple friends who attend a cosplay convention together and solve a mystery to help their favorite actress overcome some nefarious plans that have been set against her at this convention. And Leon Levels Up is about um, virtual reality gaming gone wrong due to corrupted nanobots. And our main character, Leon, needs to beat the game within the time in order to get himself and his friend to exit the game safely. We also have a growing line of Orca Currents en Francais with 20 titles available. These are all books that were originally published in English under our Currents line and have since been translated into French. The next collection, uh, this moves on to our high school grade students. This one is Orca Anchor. These books are written specifically for teens reading below a grade 2.0 level, and each of these books is less than 100 pages long. We have 12 titles in the Orca Anchor series at present, and we'll be adding more each season. This is the youngest list in our high-low, born of the feedback we received from educators that they needed even more accessible fiction for teens. Uh, Countdown on the screen here is about a valedictorian football team captain who gets blackmailed over text message about his presence at a hazing incident earlier in the school year. Um, and uh, just for everybody listening, he was not um, engaging in criminal activity, but he was present and lied about being present at those activities to kind of save face. Um, but along the way, he learns a lot of the harm that he's caused others over the years um, through this blackmailing and kind of grows up as a person, learns some lessons after some consequences. And here's two more covers of forthcoming anchor titles, Dropped by Alice Coopers and My Life Off Key by Gail Anderson Dargatz. Uh, these will be two more adding to the collection in early 2024. And the third collection, Orca Soundings. Um, short, high interest novels written specifically for the teens reading between a grade 2.0 and 5.0 reading level. And there's over 150 of these available with four also available in French and 18 in Spanish. These edgy stories with compelling characters and gripping storylines are ones students will want to read. And the stories include mature language, situations, relationships, uh, well, sometimes. Um, and we are focused on having diverse characters and perspectives and authors telling these authentic stories. Um, Airlock, for example, on the screen there is actually a space pirate story. Our protagonist, Brick, escapes an uninhabited Earth by stowing away on a spaceship to the moon that ends up being taken over by pirates. So as you can see, there's a wide range of themes, characters, and reading levels across all of these high-low books. Often teachers and librarians will contact me and ask for books for specific students. I've been asked for books about dirt biking and horseback riding, um, from very rural themes to very urban themes. Um, great examples of teachers trying to meet their students where they're at for their interests and their reading level. And here's a quick look at the inside pages um, and the differences between an anchor and a soundings book is even more trim space and space between the lines of an orca anchor compared to that of a soundings, just a bit of a stepping stone uh, to get readers towards uh, a typical at level uh, novel. And that's the end of my presentation. Um, thank you for being here or tuning in. My email is on the screen. Please reach out if you have any questions about our books. Thank you, Laura.
And um, our final panelist today will be Catherine Camisa. Catherine has worked in children's publishing for over 15 years. She believes every child is a reader if you get the right book in their hands. Thanks for being here, Catherine. The floor is yours. Thanks, Julia. And thank you to everyone for being here. I'm so excited to share some of the Child's World series that support phonics-based learning. Um, a little bit about the Child's World. Um, since our beginnings in 1968, our goal has remained simple. We want all young children to truly enjoy reading and learning. And the series that I'm sharing today form the foundation of our mission. The first series um, is part of one of our imprints, First Steps, the Building Blocks of Reading for grades pre-K to grade one. Um, this imprint focuses on engaging innovative titles that teach children the fundamentals of phonics, language, and reading. And the new series is appropriately named uh, Phonics Fun and supporting researchers' findings on the science of reading. This phonics-based series will help children learn the relationships between the letters of written language and the individual sounds of spoken language. These books also fit within and support decodable text collections. And I'll get into the, um, the scope and sequence aspects of this series in a moment. Um, and before I do, I just like to note that all of our titles presented today are available in reinforced library binding or as eBooks. Uh, the series consists of 33 titles and the covers and interiors feature a bright, clean design. And then to go back and talk a little bit about how these books were developed, um, I'll just highlight how they support phonics-based learning. Our publishing team used um, the keys to literacy, uh, suggested scope and sequence guidelines um, in the creation of these materials. Our titles will hit upon several of the core components. Um, and before I get into that, I'll just, as a fun fact reminder, one that we're all probably aware of, uh, but still worth noting, there are 26 letters in the English alphabet, but they make up 44 speech sounds or those uh, phenomes, uh, phonomes rather, <laughs> which is why a phonics-based strategy is key to reader access. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio uh, between letters and sounds. First of all, uh, phonological and phonemic awareness. Um, that phonological awareness is the ability to recognize and manipulate the uh, spoken parts of words. And then part of that phonological awareness is phonemic awareness. And that's the ability to notice, to think about and work with individual sounds uh, within spoken words. And typically this is the last skill um, when kids are learning to read or anyone learning to read develops. Um, another critical component is blending to decode and segmenting to spell uh, one syllable words, which is the process of understanding that words are made up of sounds and that those sounds work together to create words. So segmenting breaks up a word into its component phenomes, phonemes, and then um, blending puts them into the pronounceable word. And our books also support um, letter sound correspondence, uh, consonants, short vowels, and long vowels. And uh, it's the knowledge of how those sounds are connected to the individual letter letters. And now that I've given a little background on how the series uh, came about and was developed, we'll move on to those uh, key features within Phonics Fun itself. Um, each book includes an about the author section, as well as contains a note to caregivers um, and educators discussing the value of children learning phonics. Controlled vocabulary, engaging decodable text, and vibrant photographs uh, help young readers learn individual letter sounds. Each book tells a simple, entertaining story that highlights a letter and the letter's sound. And as you can see from these example spreads that the books are uh, uncluttered, they're simple, making them ideal for beginning level phonics uh, learning and great for teaching those necessary entry level phonics skills before kids move up to more complex um, reading skills. Series Back Matter includes a word list for review as well as a simple activity for deeper reader engagement and to help strengthen um, the child's association with the sound, uh, such as this activity right there um, in the bottom uh, of the example. It's for the short A book and having kids, um, the activity is having kids look around for items that have that short A sound, such as apple, rag, bag. Um, so Phonics Fun is just a wonderful eye-catching series for kids learning to read. Next, I have our Jane Belk Moncure sound, uh, acclaimed sound box books. These have been around for 
uh, nearly 50 years. They're an educational standard. Some of you might be already familiar with them. And we've updated and enhanced this beloved series to meet current um, educational standards and reflect social and cultural changes. The series consists of 26 titles and comprises individual books for letters A to W, and then X, Y, Z are combined into one sound book. There is also My Sound Parade, which features all of the titles of the alphabet. And there's also My First Book, which is a read alone uh, book that contains simple words accompanied by descriptive illustrations. So those charming um, original illustrations are always going to be paired with some really lively text. The text appears in a clear sans serif typeface and a paragraph form for easy reading. Each book has its own character that represents a letter sound and an imaginative story that emphasizes that sound. Uh, readers join in each character's adventure and learn the magical process through which letters and sounds create words. And there on the bottom, uh, left, you can see the larger examples of the A and E sound characters there. And there are also rebus icons, which trigger uh, recognition of target words. And as you can see from the examples shown, that those icons sit above the target word. So uh, I'll just read that one sentence, such as little A, uh, which shows the character found ants, ants, ants. And they're on that bottom spread and that ant icon is clearly visible and it's repeated over every single uh, use of the word. These books also feature an illustrative word list at the end with those rebus icons paired with the word in review. There's also a fun, simple activity for, for further learning in every title. And uh, I already mentioned that all of the books are in reinforced library binding and ebooks, but we did something a little bit different for this series. There's an additional format available. Um, so while we don't generally publish in paperback, we decided with the focus uh, moving back to phonics-based learning that we would take our same best-selling Jane Belkman Cure sound books uh, that you've just seen and offer them in paper as well. These editions have been rebranded uh, for the set as My First Steps to Reading and includes all 26 uh, paperback titles plus a free teaching uh, slash parents guide. So continuing on Soundbox's long tradition, these editions are sure to develop, uh, are sure to help develop confident readers, expand their vocabularies and inspire a love of reading that will outlast their school years. And last but certainly not least, um, I have our very popular Mawa Blend series consisting of 12 titles. These charming books will entice emergent readers to learn vowel blends, which is one of another core component of um, systematic um, phonics-based learning. The series features cute, simply designed covers and interiors, very similar to the way phonics fun is designed. And then are they have engaging full color photos um, that provide clues to the simple words on the page. Um, so, when students hear the repetitive sounds, they begin to associate sounds with letters. Um, and with one or two sentences per page, that clean format builds new readers' confidence in recognizing vowel blends. Each book also includes a note to caregivers and educators discussing the value of children learning phonics. Um, there's also a simple word list for review containing all of the words introduced in the book. Uh, the series is well reviewed, uh, specifically in that the one I have on the screen is by SLJ. Um, and I'll just read School Library Journal's verdict here, not the whole thing to you. It's a first purchase for libraries in need of titles, teaching vowel blends, or spelling patterns. And again, thank you uh, all so much for being here to learn about uh, the Child's World's Phonics and Decodable series. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or our customer service team. We're happy to provide samples or additional information about any of these series. And with that, I will pass the presentation back to Julia. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of today's panelists. Uh, tomorrow, all attendees will receive an email containing links to today's video recording, title list, PowerPoint slides, and a certificate of completion. For more about Booklist webinars, be sure to visit booklistonline.com webinars 
where you can view archives of past webinars and register for upcoming ones like those you see here. Between January 1st and August 31st, 2023, ALA's Office for Intellectual Freedom documented challenges to 1,915 unique titles, an increase of 20% from the same reporting period in 2022. Join the fight to help protect the freedom to read by supporting the Unite Against Book Bans campaign and visit their website, uniteagainstbookbans.org, for resources, toolkits, merchandise, to donate, and more. And remember that you can utilize Booklist to support your library's collection development choices with reviews backed by the ALA. We have a special webinar subscription offer and don't forget that your subscription dollars help ALA advocate on behalf of libraries, assisting those facing an unprecedented number of book challenges. Email us at info at booklistonline.com for more information. We have a special announcement introducing Booklist Book Club, a year long partnership with your favorite publishers. Each month, Booklist will showcase book club picks and supporting materials from a different publisher, offering a wide range of genres and age groups to fit the needs of any book discussion group. This month's sponsor, Macmillan Library, has tons of resources for your book groups. To find out more information, scan the QR code on this slide or visit our website. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. And one more thank you to our sponsors, Norwood House Press, an imprint of Rosen Publishing, Orca Book Publishers, and The Child's World. This concludes today's webinar. See you next time.